Night City going to set my soul on fire. Welcome to Las Vegas, the entertainment capital of the world, and home to the running rebels of UNLV. And boy, do we have a fun one ahead. Top 10 team, target on their back, going on their road and right into the snake pit. As we'll see the number two team in the country, the Ohio State Buckeyes. Taking on a team from the Mountain West, the UNLV Rebels. 48 Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. The Rebels will put total leather and will get started. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Makes a move. He just about popped that one for a long one, but as it is, he gives his team a lot of momentum with a solid return. Line gets set, first down. From the gun, running back on the move. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? Got stuffed on first down, it's second and 10. Back to throw, it's Howard. Shoots it to the left. Makes a connection. Defense caught out of position, and they get him down finally at the 38. The passing game continues to be prolific, and as much as Ohio State has been built on toughness, they've been built recently on the efficient passing game. I mean, so many good quarterbacks. And, and you know you're going to get great play calling, great offensive design. Ohio State offenses every year, year after year, the names change, but the production continues to be the same. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, you clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line, second and seven. He's looking to throw right down the middle. And the throw down the gut falls to the grass. And when you're a quarterback, man, I know wide receivers are great athletes and they're supposed to catch everything that gets near them, but when you don't put it right on the center when they're running a lot of times, it just makes it a little bit more difficult. And I think he did that a little bit too much for his wide receiver right there. Another incompletion on third down. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short, and you're... What do you do here? This offense wants to establish an aggressive identity. They'll go for it on fourth down. Dumps it to the back. Got it past the marker. Not much of a fourth down gamble when it's that much of a sure thing. An easy conversion for this offense. That's a great example of the receiver knowing exactly where the first down marker is. He got the depth he needed to get, so once he was able to make the catch, he already knew he had it. Now, a fresh... And he runs it in for the score! Touchdown, Buckeyes! Follow the blockers. The offensive line will take you to the hallelujah land. And I tell you what, most of the time, Reese, it requires a little bit of skill to find that hole and, you know, slither through a little crack. That was not a crack. That was wide open. Didn't take a lot of vision because the blocking was outstanding. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. So the touchdown drive goes 63 yards. And what a way to finish it with a 9-yard touchdown run. Just about set to kick it away. From inside the 15, here's the return. And the return man showing great vision to be able to find some space and put his team in much better field position. Okay. 
looking for a productive play on first down. On the option. He'll toss it. Good pick up on the ground, and they'll mark him down at the 39. And the Rebels want to pick up the tempo. Goes to the option. He'll toss it. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. The Rebels pick up the first down. Hard to imagine this is only their first drive in the game, but their defense was on the field for virtually an entire quarter. So, guys, there's a lot of pressure on this offense here to convert this third down so their defense can stay on the... Hit the afterburners, kid! And they are finding some space in this defense. He's got it down to the 25. I think it's really important for this offense. They get this guy going early in the game, and they're doing a nice job of that right now. Remember, he's the kind of running back who gets better as the game goes on. That's a really good omen for this offense, considering his success now early. And the Rebels are flying down the field. Get set, get set. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Right on the money to the outside. He dragged the toe. And how about the ball placement? Only the receiver could get it. Well, and you're seeing the balance this offense has and how they can create explosive plays in a variety of ways. We just saw one come in the run game, and now you see one coming in the passing game. I'll tell you, they've got this defense on their heels. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. They'll be able to get off one more play before quarter's end. Back to throw, it's Sluka. He's got it. Takes it to the house. Touchdown, UNLV. And what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in the rhythm. this offense. Here comes the two-point try. He's looking to throw. Zings it complete to the right. Into the end zone for the two-point conversion, and with that, they take the lead. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. They make the stop, and that'll bring the first quarter to a close. Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. Here's the handoff. Keeps it moving for a three-yard gain to the 24. Now that's what you try to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. He wants to pass it on second down. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. Fires to the middle. And that one's incomplete. We're taking a shot there, but couldn't hook up. A 
offenses know and work on it all week. Third downs, third downs, we've got to be really, really good. This offense not good on this third down. It could come back to bite them. On fourth down, looking to pass. Fires left. And it's batted away, and the fourth down play doesn't convert. They'll give up the football. Man, first half being that aggressive on, on your side of the field, that's, that's a different world. Like, you live in the analytics world, and I know people will say go for it more often. I don't see the point going for it on that one early in the game in that situation. Looking to go up top on first down. Grabbed behind the line, it's Thomas. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. Great job by the quarterback thrown against zone coverage. You cannot telegraph where you're throwing the football. You cannot eyeball wide receivers. So great job by the quarterback using his eyes, not staring down his guy, and then throwing him open. Just couldn't get away from the tackle. The Rebels will hustle to the line. Wants to throw on third. That's caught. It's Allen. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. Hey, really nice job on defense, too. Understanding the situation. It's third down. We're fine giving up completions right there. We're not giving up the first down. We're keeping the football and the ball carrier in front of us, and we're tackling the catch. Awesome job, and now you've set up fourth down. Makes the catch. He's got enough. And they finally get him to the ground. An easy conversion for this offense. Defense not exactly the perfect fourth down call there. Looking for a man. It's Sluka. He caught it. And to the end zone. Touchdown, Rebel. And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. I'll tell you what, keep that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. He'll try to tack on one more. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. Here he comes from inside his own five. Finds just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. We'll see if that failed fourth down in their own end last time, David, sort of curbed some of the aggressiveness. Well, you hear about it all the time in football. Go for it. Be aggressive. The problem is, when you get stopped, sometimes it puts you in a hole. And Jesse, now the offense has to come out and respond. They were real disappointed not getting that first down. You could see it on the sideline. So let's just see if that's kind of galvanized them a little bit here to go make a statement and get some points. The offense lining up for a first down play. Back to pass, it's Howard. And the pass is intercepted! And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. I love when people start to understand what we're doing defensively. If they're going to pass the football and that's where they're going to live, well, I'm going to live and dime. I'm going to bring more defensive backs on the field so I can cover more of these speed guys that they have out there. Great job by the defensive back, breaking on the football, making the INT, making the DC look very smooth. UNLV ready to go back to work on offense. Guys, it's been an entertaining first half and not a lot of time left to put some more points on the board. No, but you got this possession right here to maybe go into the half tied up. So good first half, but a great way, Jesse, to end this first half. Yeah, you'd love to take that momentum into the second half. And listen, this offense practices two minute every single week for this exact situation. They'd love to be able to go generate a few more points before taking it into the locker room. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't Knocked free for a fumble. 
Well, I know that one fell incomplete, but what a day this guy has had throwing the football. Multiple touchdowns, and he's done a really nice job with his decision-making. Hasn't thrown any picks, which has really helped keep this offense on schedule. Snagged in the middle. It's Moore. They get him stopped at the five-yard line, but it will be first and goal from there. And the Rebels come to the line in the hurry-up. He's looking to throw. He caught it. They've got it down to the three-yard line. Really well done on that throw and catch. Now on second and goal. He's looking to throw. It's complete. And he wanted to score badly, but the defense wrestles him down at the two. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack. Once and he will be sacked at the six-yard line. This is a good sign for this defense. The rate they were going, not touching the quarterback, him already having two touchdown passes in the first half, this was not going to be a fun football game to watch. Now they're turning the tide a little bit, getting a little bit of pressure, getting a sack. He makes a grab, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Rebel! That touchdown gives this team a pretty significant lead at this point. And that's what you want. You want to start fast. You want everything to come out, start clicking, make some plays. It doesn't always work that way, but when you do, man, the energy, the crowd, everybody's into it. Now the other team better respond. They want to see if they can score the deuce. Easy. Gorilla. Gorilla. Oh. To the air. It's Sluka. He's got it. Two-point try is good as they build on this lead. So they picked up 32 yards on that drive. And they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass. They want to get the ball right back here in the first half. They've got the lead going for the onside kick. And a few anxious moments, but the hands team is able to fall on it. And you don't see a lot of these. You don't see a lot of onside kicks earlier in the game, especially in the second quarter. You still feel each other out. You're still getting into the game. You don't want to give away that momentum, but that's exactly what they did by failing on that onside kick. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. Getting late here in the first half, they'll have a chance to make this a one-possession game. And the offensive play caller here has to really be dialed in. It's important, down two possessions, Dave, that they're able to score some points. So you got to call your best stuff in this two-minute situation. And, and such a good opportunity to cut it to a one-score game, create that momentum, get some good juices going for the second half, because obviously... You... Oh, what a grab by the defense! He'll try to take it back. A dangerous cover man and a dangerous return man after the pick as he gets it all the way to the 44-yard line. This is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Going up top on first down. Blasted as he lets it go. Got a man in the middle. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. Just on the edge of the red zone. First and ten from the 21. Lion, lion. Dropping back. It's Sluka. Deep shot for the end zone. The pass is incomplete, and there are two ticks remaining on the clock. Waning seconds of the first half, and they'll try to tack on a three before they head to the locker room. He'll try to knock it through from 38 yards out. And the kicker delivers the three to salvage that drive. And now the lead is even bigger. And the Buckeyes will kick it away to start the second half. No reason to risk trying to field that one as it skips through the end zone. It'll be a touchback. Okay. Guys, 
the running Rebels offense ready to go back to work. They had this lead to start the third quarter because of the passing game. Didn't get a lot done on the ground. They did, but the quarterback is in a rhythm. And he intercepts it. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. And the senior just took that one out of the air and sends it the other way. There are few things that can impact the game more than the ability to hit the other team's quarterback, and that was a big play there. And I love the team defense on this play. One, excellent job getting to the QB and forcing the air pass. And how about the secondary on the back end, able to rally that football and pick it off? Let's see what this offense has dialed up this time. He'll come out throwing on first down. Catch in the middle. It's Abuka. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. And listen, I'm going to move this guy everywhere. He's in the slot this time, but I'm not going to let the defense understand where he's lining up so they can double team him, put him in the slot, put him out wide. Either way, find this guy early and often. The Buckeyes have moved it inside the 20. Looking downfield, it's Howard. They're bringing heat. Pressure all over the quarterback, and down he goes at the 24. The defense just simply not fooled by the play action. Oftentimes, the offense, you're hoping the run fake's going to slow down those pass rushers, but man, oh man, they had their ears pinned back. Unloads it left. Snags it. They make the tackle just outside the end zone, but it'll be first and goal from the one. So, so close to cashing it in for this offense. To the edge, it's Henderson. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Ohio State. A quick strike, just as we expected. Yeah, and quick strikes are easy when you got such great field position. Obviously, when the offense starts in such a good spot, puts the defense in a bad position, and the offense takes advantage. My philosophy on going for two is only when you have to. From the gun. Throws to the wideout. Makes the grab for the two-point conversion as they cut further into that lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. From inside his own 15, looking for room. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. Defense will have to use its first time out of the half. Line gets set, first down. Looking for a crease, it's Allen. He's knocked down in the backfield, he'll lose a couple. 
People talk about physical tackles all the time. That's how you deliver the boom. Lower your pads, run your feet, take that guy from him going forward to flat backwards on his back. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Dropping back, it's Sluka. Getting some heat. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. This QB has been so comfortable all day long. Obviously having a ton of success. You've got to affect him. You've got to put some hits on those body blows so you can make him wear out and physically feel you. This is the first time really getting to him. This defense needed this bad. On third and long, try to convert through the air. They've got the screen set up. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. And that one falls incomplete. A huge stand by the defense. And sometimes the best defense is getting a little bit lucky. He was open. He had a chance to make a play. He just drops it through his hand. It was pretty good defense, but you take those breaks when you can get them. They get him off his feet after a pickup of five down to the 25. Hey, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that rock. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. This is an offense that really sees their identity as being able to run the football. Nice job there picking up the first down. The Buckeyes have it in scoring position on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. Picked up some of what they needed on first down. Now it's second and goal from the five. Quarterback reacting to what the D is showing. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. And a lot of times the defense is focused on the middle, right? Bring more big bodies in the red zone. Don't let them run the football. Offense tries to do the opposite. Get outside. Get their speed to the football. Had a little bit of success, but nice job by this defense. Trying to get it done with the run here on third and goal. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Buckeyes! Wow, this offense, they have a lot of faith in this running back. Knowing if they get down into this area of the field, he can get it done and he can answer the bell. Two rushing touchdowns already for this offense. They're going to go ahead and go for two here and try to make it a field goal game. Now the play fake. They're working that left side. He's back in the end zone for the two-point conversion and followed the touchdown as he single-handedly is trying to keep them in it. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. From inside his own 15, trying to follow his blockers. And the returner will be brought down. Plenty of time for one more snap before the end of the quarter. Let's go! The handoff as they run the counter play here. They get in the backfield and make the play, and that's how they'll finish off this third period. Will start the quarter offense about to snap it on second down. Easy. To throw, it's Sluka. Finds his back in the middle. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down mark. I want to get my running backs the ball in space as much as possible. And sometimes it doesn't work in the running game. But I can throw it to him. I can try to create some space out wide dump him the football, let him make some catches, and see if I can't get some big plays out of him. Cut it, cut it. Oh. 
Looks as if they didn't get it off in time. It'll be a delay of game. So the penalty will not be enforced. The defense declines and stands on the result of the play. Third down and one, and this is why they call it a gut check. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Caught in the backfield, it's Thomas. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage before he was stopped, but using the running back in the short passing game gives him a first down. Boy, the defense really needed to get off the field there, and they just couldn't do it, and it's a fresh set of downs. Man, that hurts. When you're trailing late in the ball game, you need those stops, and you get them to third down. You get them to those critical points. Now they get the first down. You don't have many left. You better get aggressive. Maybe this will breathe the little life into this offense, which has been flatlined in the second half. Here's first and ten. They'll keep it on the ground. The clock is on their side. And he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yardage. And that running back essentially just did everything right. Not only did he rip off a nine-yard run with the lead late in the game, but he stayed in bounds. He had the awareness that if I stay in bounds, the clock keeps running, and it increases our chances of winning this game. If they can pick up a yard here on second down, that might put this one in the books. Man, stop being a bitch. You, you're trying to He's kill the time. Man. You're legit He's trying to kill the time because you know I'm about to fucking That'll cook your mom fucking ass. Scary it. And that's exactly what you would expect from this offense. Listen, when you're in that one to two minute range and you got the football and you got a lead, it's smash mouth. It's keep that clock running. It's ground game. So interesting now on this third down what they do next, but we got to keep that clock moving. Back to throw, it's Sluka. It's complete on the right side. And they gave him no chance to get loose, and they force a fourth down. That receiver is going to think twice about running that same route again as this game goes on, because he just got lit up. I'm not even sure how he held on to that ball. This offense is aggressive on fourth down. Two for three so far today, and they're still on the field. Try to get it on the ground. They stop him short, and now they'll get the ball back here in the fourth quarter. Low man wins. Defense that time on fourth down was expecting run, and you saw at the point of attack how they just dominated. There was nowhere for that guy to go. Defense wins the down. They give it back up now to their offense. And he throws his third pick of the day. His head has to be spinning. Of a chance on the return, but they'll have the ball at the 33. That might be the nail in the coffin, fellas. This offense, they're trying to get back in the game. They're having to be aggressive. You're now going to have to start taking chances. An errant throw ends up in the hands of the defense. I think that's all she wrote. The UNLV offense ready to return to the field. Under a minute to play, they can just take a knee and put this game on ice. It's such a good feeling. The best feeling in the world. The best formation is victory formations for offense where I can just catch the snap, take a knee, Jesse, and watch that clock run. And it's got to feel good, too, because this was a physical football game. Both teams leaving it all on the field, and the offense now an opportunity to ice this thing, take the... And now on the pitch, the ball's loose. Defense coming up with a huge fumble recovery. Timeout is called. Clock stops. 13 seconds to go in the game. Offense getting set for first down. He wants to throw. Time to take a shot. He got it. Some fucking goal. Fucking game, bitch. It's my game. It's mine.